everybody, this is Bill Leach from the Leach Belt Project, and this week I am making a fretboard for my lap steel guitar. Now, as you see here, I got a piece of maple, and I got some vinyl, and uh, typically I would uh, design and cut everything in the, on the vinyl and then attach it to the board, but uh, that presented some uh, problems with getting the design to line up and do everything with the CNC and... Yeah, I just said, I'd bag it. I'm going to try something different. So um, here you see me um, just go ahead and attaching it right to the board. And I'm going to take this and take it right into the laser there and cut everything on that. And I can weed out what I don't like if I need to. And um, yeah, then I got the outline going on there so I can cut it right off with the saw and get it sanded down nice and tight. And the inlay and everything lines up just perfect. And course with the outside being cut to those lines that everything else will line up perfect as well so off to the bandsaw and cut that little darling you know it's funny I uh, I get going in the shop like this and I get off of one machine and go to the next and I for some reason just can't go fast enough because I'm so excited to get the thing done so here I am uh, well this is sped up of course but I'm going through the motions here on the bandsaw and getting it cut down tight so I can throw it on the sander and uh, get those lines nice and tight and this was really easy to get exactly what I wanted. I I'm, I'm really like the process on this. It worked out pretty well. I'm going to clean up the board here a little bit and get ready to get stuck on to the guitar. So here I am sticking it to the guitar and I'm going to change this process on the next one. Yeah, I think the, I'm going to go ahead and use screws for the fretboard on the next guitar and that'll allow me to um, put down some vinyl, whatever color I want on the body and just use that for the top color, I guess. And uh, it also allow me to use uh, Lexan or plexiglass uh, painted on the backside and I can scratch it, uh, all the artwork on the backside and have it turn out pretty schlickery. So I'm going to give that a whirl on the next one. Uh, for, for now, this one is pretty damn cool. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. This is what I see when I walk in my shop in the morning, and I tell you, it inspires me. Hey, if you like what you see, give it a like and a subscribe, and tell me what you think. See you later. Bye.